I'm gonna put the yoke on these pants. I'm gonna make sure I have the wrong side and the wrong side so that I can put the yoke right sides to right sides. And the steeper part of the yoke goes on the center back of the pant. The shallower part of the yoke goes on the side seam. So it is gonna attach right here. Now you're trying to sew a curve to a straight line backwards. It's not gonna line up very pretty. So make sure you line up your side seams and your inseam inside the crotch. And then as you sew, you're gonna stretch to get this ease to go in. Make sure you don't sew over your pins. Stretch it to ease it as you sew. Clip your threads. Now you'll have this attached. Now you need to think about this seam allowance right here because you want it to cause a curve and a cupping shape over the top of the glute muscle. So the best way to do that is to not have your seam allowance pointed up towards the yoke but pointed down towards the pant. It helps create that cup shape. So if your top stitching plan is one or two rows of top stitching, then I would finish this with a serger and then I would top stitch my seam allowance down to the pant. It gives it strength, structure, and helps to create that cup shape. 